Hello everyone. This tutorial aims to demonstrate how we can send sensor readings from the ESP32 to a platform known as ThinkSpeak. This video will be split up into three sections. First, we will give a brief overview of what ThinkSpeak is, how to set it up, and how to start sending data to ThinkSpeak. So what is ThinkSpeak? ThinkSpeak is basically an open source software that allows you to communicate from it to internet enabled devices such as the ESP32. So basically it allows you to publish your sensor readings to their website and you can view them in plots and charts. You can also use ThinkSpeak for your ESP8266 devices, but in this tutorial we will be looking at how we can use it with the ESP32. The tools we will need in this tutorial is the ESP32 board, development board, an Arduino IDE to program the ESP32, the sensor of your choice, I will be using the MPU6050 as this is the sensor I have available with me, breadboard, jumper wires, and your laptop of course. So let's start with setting up the ThinkSpeak platform. First and foremost, head over to the ThinkSpeak website. Make sure you have an account with MathWorks. If you don't, you can create one. I've used ThinkSpeak before, so I will create a second channel by clicking on New Channel. I will be naming the channel MPU6050 Sensor. You can describe the sensor with whatever you would want. And in my case, I will be just sending the temperature reading over to this channel. After that, save your channel. And you can see that there is a visualization that has been created for you. And you can find the right API key, which we will use to communicate to this channel, over here. After setting up ThinkSpeak, let's go ahead and install the necessary libraries. To do so, you can go over to Manage Libraries. It'll take some time to load. All the libraries installed. Then go ahead and install ThinkSpeak. I have already installed ThinkSpeak. Also, since I'll be, I'll be using the Adafruit 6050 sensor, MPU6050, let's also install that, as well as some auxiliary libraries that will allow us to communicate with different sensors, such as the Adafruit Bus I.O. and the Adafruit Unified Sensor, which you, which you will find if you scroll down to the end. I've already installed them. Sometimes when you install the sensor libraries, it prompts you automatically to install these. So it depends on whether or not you are able to install it in one go with just the library of the sensor, or if you would need to install them individually. Let's take a look at the schematic diagram for connecting the MPU6050 to our ESP32. First and foremost, we will be connecting VCC to the 3v3 pin on the ESP32 board. And we will also connect the ground pin to ground on the ESP32 board. We will connect the SDA to GPIO21 and the SCL to GPIO22. In this tutorial, we will be using an example sketch provided by Adafruit themselves, so you can go over to the examples, click on the Adafruit MPU6050 sensor, and let's open up the basic readings example sketch, and we will be modifying this sketch 
to send some sensor data over to our channel in, in ThinkSpeak. So we will be modifying the MPU6050 example sketch, which is just a basic demo for obtaining the accelerometer readings from the Adafruit MPU6050 sensor. So essentially what is going on is, first and foremost, we will add the necessary libraries to communicate to ThinkSpeak. So that's what, that would be the Wi-Fi library and ThinkSpeak uh, library. And we will, on top of initializing the MPU, we will put down the credentials for connecting to our Wi-Fi. So that would be the SSID name of your Wi-Fi and the password. Then we would also need to specify the channel number and the right API key of the channel that you've created in ThinkSpeak. And that essentially means when we take a look at ThinkSpeak, we've created a channel named MPU6050 sensor. And if this is your first time using ThinkSpeak, this would be your first channel. In my case, it's the second channel. So I would need to write the number two over here. But as this is your first channel, you would write the number one over here. As for the right API key, you will find it in the API keys over here. So you just take it, copy it, and paste it over here. Here, we've defined two variables to basically specify that we would be publishing to the channel that we've just created in ThinkSpeak every 30 seconds, as this is 30,000 milliseconds. Taking a look at the first uh, function that we've created in this code, it's the setup Wi-Fi. And essentially, you can keep this in the setup as well, but I've created a function. And what this does is it just prints out connecting to the name of the SSID or Wi-Fi that you're connecting to. And then as long as it's not connected, it will print out dots. And when it does connect, it will print out that the Wi-Fi is connected. This setup is the same as the basic sketch that Adafruit has provided as an example. So I haven't changed anything here. I just added the setup Wi-Fi to connect to the Wi-Fi and I've initialized ThinkSpeak over here through the ESP client that we've defined above right here, which is the Wi-Fi client. When we take a look at the loop, it's the same as the example sketch. We are going to get the acceleration and the uh, gyroscope uh, values as well as the temperature from the MPU and we will print them out over here in the serial monitor. In addition to that, we just want to publish one of those data points to our channel and that data point is the temperature. So to do so, we would need to use the right field method of ThinkSpeak and we would need to define in its arguments the channel number that we're connecting to in my case, it would be the second channel. In your case, as it's your first channel, it would be the first channel, which we've defined over here. Then we would need to specify the field value that we will be connecting to. So if we go to the channel settings, we can see that this is the first field, the sensor reading, and the right API key. And in this loop, what is happening is we are observing the output of this method. If we get a value of 200, that means that the channel update was successful. And if we don't, it means that there is a problem and we would need to look at the type of, you know, the type of HTTP error code that would, you know, come about this. So now that we've taken a look at the modified example sketch for the Adafruit MPU6050. Let's go ahead and upload this to the ESP board. Make sure that you have ch chosen the appropriate board over here and the appropriate COM port before uploading.
So after flashing the ESP32, we can go ahead and open the serial monitor. You can see that it's trying to connect and then when it connected, it started sending our sensor data to the channel and it gets updated each, let's say 30 seconds. And we have successfully sent the data over to our channel. But what if I wanted to send more than one sensor date reading to my channel? How can I do that? To send more than one sensor reading to a channel, we would need to modify the channel settings. So let's say we would want to send over the acceleration in the X direction, for example. So we can call this acceleration X. And maybe we want to also send over the rotation in the X direction. So I would need to enable these fields and save the channel. So not only would we have a field chart for the first field, but for the second and third field. And there are other visualizations that we can use, or widgets like gauges or numeric displays, lamp indicators, or even image dis displays. But we, let's stick with these two types of uh, visualizations. Going back to our code, to do that, we would need to set the fields individually, meaning that we would need to tell ThinkSpeak that this sensor reading needs to go to the first field, this sensor reading would need to go to the second field, and this to the third. After setting the fields and making sure that we've specified the correct sensor readings for the correct fields in our channel, instead of right field method, we will be using the right fields method. And with that, we just need to specify two arguments, the channel number that we're trying to write to and the right API key for that channel, which will remain the same. We can now go ahead and upload that code onto the ESP32 and observe what happens. Now we can see that we have updated the channel successfully for one reading. So let's go ahead and Refresh, you can see that we've obtained one sensor data point for the acceleration in the x direction and the rotation of x. Let's wait for 30 more seconds and we should observe a change. Yes, let me try moving it. We definitely can see that there is a data log happening for these three Thank you for watching readings. this video and I hope you found it useful. If you'd like to support the channel, you can always do so through subscribing or supporting the channel through Patreon where you will find the link for that in the description below. You will also find the link for this code linked in the description below. See you in the next one.